after the Six Day War, the Grossman, who then was just a young Avrech, a young married fellow, was so overwhelmed with gratitude towards Hashem, he went to the Kaisel. And he was at the Kaisel, and it bubbled out of him. And I'll read it to you. He said, Master of the world. He says, Rabbi Shalaylam. He was just so overwhelmed with gratitude. He, he said this bubbled out of him. He, he didn't plan this. But standing by the Kaisel after the Six-Day War, such gratitude. He said, Master of the world. In thanks to you, I'm offering to leave you Shalayim for a year and move to a place where I'll be able to devote myself to helping the youth and the local population. He just felt he had to give something back to Hashem. Hashem, what can I give? What's my true mind I can give you? You know what? Hashem, I'm willing to go somewhere for a year and help out the locals. He then went to his Rebbe, who was the Lel of a Rebbe, and Moshe Mordechai beat him in at the time. And he told him about this tefillah, this prayer, this promise he had made at the Kaisal. He was looking for his Rebbe's guidance. Listen to what the Lelavar Rebbe said. It should do it, he said. Maybe go down, read you the English. Look around and see if there is anything you can accomplish in Migdal HaEmek. Such a simple line. Maybe go down and go see if there's epis in Yiddish. It can epis of ton in Migdal Emek. Maybe there's epis something. It's like, just bring me what you can. Bring me your peace. Go see if there's something you can do. He said he had no idea where Migdal Emek was. He had no idea about it. It ended up being, it was this little village. It was like a criminal village of uh, immigrants, the children and the... It was total disarray. He he went over to go see what it is, to go visit and just see what it is. He had no idea. Hasidish guy, this curl pace, Shalmi guy, you know, looks like as Haredi as could be. And he goes, he ends up going to Migdal Amek. He asks people, Where is where's the yeshiva? Yeshiva, there's no yeshiva. It's no yeshiva. He said, Where are all the young? The young teens of the community. They said, in the disco. In the disco. He had no idea what a disco was. So he started asking people, where is Yeshiva's Hadisco? Where is the Yeshiva called Disco? And they realized he wanted the disco. They sent him down. He went into a club. Lights, music blaring. And he said, they, they stared at him, they know what he wanted from their life. And he told them, I want to live here. And they all surrounded him, they, these teens, totally disconnected. And they were like, what are you talking about? He ended up sitting there in the disco for three hours. Formed a tremendous Kesher with these boys. And he went on that same trip to a different... Sh- Shul over there with, again, just some immigrants that had been just totally disconnected. Their kids were doing whatever they were doing. It was totally disconnected. And there also, he realized he could come. He could bring light to this place. And the rest is history. Now Migdal Or is on 65 acres. Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people, and he's done more and more and more, built on that and built on that and built on that. And it's impossible to fathom the impact he's had on thousands, tens of thousands of people's lives and really on the world. But what's incredible is, what did it start with? The level of a rebbe didn't say, go change the world. Go change Migdal Amik from a criminal city and make it into something that has unbelievable Torah in it. No. Go see if there's epis that you could do. 
Go see if there's something you could do.